My name is Lana. I have been married to my husband Elmer for 10 years. We live happily together with our daughter Agatha, who is in kindergarten. We live happily every day. Since now is the only time I can watch Agatha grow closely, I'm a full-time housewife. I'm happy every day with my sweet Elmer and lovely Agatha. But I have one problem. Lana? I'm here. Lana, I don't hear an answer. Are you home? When I hear this voice, my body goes rigid. The owner of this voice is my mother-in-law, Bella, who lives alone in the neighborhood. Bella crashes into my house unannounced in her spare time. I still cannot get used to Bella, even after 10 years. Elma tells me not to worry about it, but it's not that easy. Bella, welcome. Oh my, if you're home, answer me right away. I'm sorry. Lana, you're such a failure. How long have you and Elmer been married? Ten years. How long has it been since Agatha was born? Five years. Even after all these years, Lana is still... How can I say this? Not very thoughtful. Is that sarcasm? Hey, don't say such rude things to me. If anyone who doesn't know anything about me hears that, it would sound like I'm picking on my daughter-in-law. You're not picking on me? Huh? That's rude. You think I'm picking on you? No, it's not that. I really wonder why Elmer married you. Ask Elmer about it. Don't you dare blame him. Elmer is my husband. Of course, he is Bella's son. Elma has a one-year-old sister, but Bella loves Elmer more. So, Bella, what can I do for you today? Do I need a reason to come over? No, not really. Is Agatha in kindergarten? Yes, she's in kindergarten every day at this time. I hope you remember by now. Lana! Are you doing that naturally? What is? Isn't about you poking me every single time. I didn't mean to. Well, okay. By the time, Lana. Did you clean today? It's only 8 a.m. I know it is. I just dropped Agatha off at the bus stop. So what? So I'm about to clean up. That's a lie, right? I'm not lying. I'm really going to do it now. Look at this. Look at this messy pile of toys. So I'm going to clean up now. You left Agatha's pajamas here. That's because I made her change here. And dirty mess in the sink. That's because I just made Agatha's lunch. Hey Lana, why do you keep making excuses like that? You're driving me crazy already. With that said, she picked up the garbage bag in the sink and scattered it on the floor. Obviously, the floor was covered with food scraps. Bella, what are you doing? What? I feel good. How could you do this to me? If you'd just taken care of your food scraps, you wouldn't have any problems. You are terrible. Oh, this is so boring. I'm leaving now, so clean up your mess. With that, Bella left. I have been told many bitter things for the past 10 years. This was the first time I had food scraps scattered all over the place. I can handle complaints and sarcasm, but this is quite humiliating. I have been putting up with it for 10 years now. Yet, I'm not divorced because I have Elmer and Agatha. Elmer always listens to me, and he has a very strong opinion about Bella. So Bella is the only one who is trouble. I'm home. Welcome home. Hmm? 
Is something wrong? Well, why? You've been acting a little strange. Bella really doesn't like me, does she? Why is that? She scattered food scraps from the sink all over the floor. I'm used to Bella being sarcastic, but scattering food scraps on the floor is unacceptable. Of course. What the heck was she thinking? I hate her even though I'm her son. Does she want to bully her daughter-in-law? She doesn't seem to think so. Lana, I'm really sorry. No, it's not Elmer's fault, so don't apologize. I have to do something about it. I feel at home just by having you listen to me. The only thing that helps is that Elmer is not a mommy's boy. Lana, good morning. Bella, you are here again. Am I not allowed to come to Elmer and Agatha's house? It's not like that. You really do have a disgusting way of saying that. I'm sorry. Lana's housework is so lousy that I've decided to take her hard line. What do you mean? Next month, on the anniversary of Max's death, we'll have dinner here. So prepare with that in mind. The relatives are going together, so you should start cleaning now. Okay. But is Elmer agreeing to it? Elmer doesn't disobey me. I think he doesn't listen to you and keep disobeying. Were you being sarcastic again? I didn't mean it that way. You really get on my nerves. I'm sorry, but still, it's really dirty. I can't believe you live here. I do clean. All I see is dirt. I'm afraid of where you will end up if you keep things like this. Max Elmer's dad died of illness shortly after we were married. I knew that this year was the seventh anniversary of his death. I never thought we would be having a death anniversary dinner at our house. I don't know what Bella thinks. At any rate, I called Elmer and told him about the anniversary of his death. That night, I'm home. You look like you look like you are having fun. Do you remember what I told you during the day? Of course I remember. So I thought I'd teach mom a lesson. What do you mean? What are you thinking about? I talked to Camila. Camila, your sister? Yeah, that's right. Mom's got a soft spot for Camila, right? As I recall, she doesn't go against Camila. Yes, yes, she can never go against her. That's why she dislikes Camila. But she's in Japan now, right? She's coming back for the anniversary of Dad's death, so I decided to punish her then. You're in a good mood, aren't you? Camila says she's sorry. She said she was really sorry for making you deal with Mom. It's not Camila's fault or Elma's fault, so don't apologize. I know I have a hard time with Bella. I think Elma and Camila are really great sisters and brothers. I have only met Camila a few times since she is in Japan. The day of the anniversary of Dad's death. Come on in, even though it's a dirty place. Bart, Loretta, welcome. Lana. I'm sorry to bother you, Lana. You are such a lazy housekeeper. I'm so embarrassed to have everyone in this house. It's not that dirty. It's amazing how you keep such a clean house with a little one, isn't it? She works hard. What are you working hard at? Even Bella isn't that good at cleaning, is she? What are you talking about? Although I'm your sister-in-law, I'm older than you. Oops, sorry. My uncle Bert, Aunt Loretta, and others who came over were laughing bitterly at Bella's sarcasm. Such a mess again. Sorry, Agatha made a mess right away. Why don't you clean it up right away? 
Why are you blaming Agatha? I'm sorry. Don't talk like that in front of Bart and Loretta. Bella, you don't have to be so cross-eyed. It's the anniversary of Mark's death. It's because she won't understand unless I tell her so. Mom. Elmer, it's okay. I will clean it up. Yeah, get on with it. This will be a good opportunity to show Bart and Loretta that you can't clean well. Mom. That was really embarrassing. Oh yeah. And the front door was messed too. What? It wasn't dirty. Yes, it was. Once you serve the meal, go clean it right away. Yes, I will. But Bella, this house... What? Are you going to rebel against me again? Everyone, did you see? Lana is always disobeying me. No, I'm not trying to disobey you. Bella, Lana is not disobeying everything, right? No, she is. Mom, enough! What? Lana wears the pants. I hate that. To handpick a husband could be the best way of a happy marriage. That's just in Bart's house. Elmer is usually a such a nice boy, but he's against me. You know, I'm not a child anymore to be called a nice boy. What? Then you're on Lana's side? Of course. Elmer, stop it already. Anyway, Lana, go clean up quickly. Hey, Mom, what's with that tone? At that moment, a woman came into the living room. That woman is Elmer's sister, Camilla. Camilla? Why are you here? You said you couldn't make it. That was the plan. Then why are you here? There was a sudden change of plans. I heard that this year, it won't be held at our house. Oh, that's right. Then let's have dinner right away. Wait a minute. You've been sarcastic with Lana for a while now. I'm not being sarcastic. It's disgusting. Are you bullying her? I would never do that. Then what is it? Camilla, look at this house. It's filthy. You think so, don't you? Really? It's not dirty at all. It's very clean. Have you been living in Japan for so long that you can't tell the difference between clean and dirty anymore? That has nothing to do with it. Agatha's toy were left out. The carpet was crooked. And there was dust on the front door. If you have kids, even if you put things away, they will take them out right away. That's just an excuse. Our house was even dirtier. It's clean here. Even you're defending Lana? Normally I wouldn't mind, but we have guests here today. Do you think Agatha would understand even if you tell her? If she doesn't, it means Lana is spoiling her. Even if it is, the house is not dirty. It's dirty! Then where it is? Why are you taking Lana's side so much? It's so dirty. I'm not taking sizes. I'm just saying that because it's not dirty. Camilla, you! I'm sorry to interrupt. What? Go clean up your mess. Camilla? What's wrong, Lana? May I clean up? You don't have to do that. Why are you asking Camilla's permission? Because this house is Camilla's house. I've already cleaned up Agatha's things. I still don't think it's right to clean the entrance and such without permission. What do you mean? This is Elmer's house. Why is this Camilla's house? I gave it to Camilla for various reasons. Yes, so it's my house now. I wasn't told. It's because I never told you. So if it's dirty, it's my fault, right? But you live in Japan. Why do you need a house? It's because we don't need this place anymore. What do you mean? I'm changing jobs. You didn't tell me. I didn't tell you. 
I'm thinking of moving back here in a little while. Then I heard about Elmo's transfer, so I thought I'd ask him to give me the house. It's win-win timing for both of us. Oh no, you guys! Then what about me? What? It's none of Mom's business, is it? I'm trying to move in with Elmer. What are you talking about? Because you know, I live alone. It's about time you moved in with me. What the heck, Lana? What do you have to say for yourself? Enough, Lana. Elmer, Camilla, may I say something? Go ahead. Say what you want, Bella. I absolutely do not want to live with you. You come bubbling in here every day with no notice. All you do is complain about my cleaning and cooking. I'm under so much stress, even though we live apart. If I move in with you, my heart will be broken for sure. If how dare you, Bella? You are using me to relieve your stress, right? What you are doing to me is nothing but bullying. I'm not bullying. This is discipline. What kind of discipline are you talking about? Dumping food scraps on the floor? Bella, did you really do that? That's just too much. That's an accusation. It's not an accusation. Nana, maybe you're trying to set me up. No, I'm only telling the truth. Anyway, I would never live with you. Hey, Elmer, you will live with me, right? Did you really think I would say yes? My precious wife is being bullied. I'm not moving in with you. Oh my God, that's terrible! Agatha wants to live with Grandma, right? The only person she could ask for was her granddaughter Agatha. When Bella asked Agatha for her consent, Agatha shook her head sharply. This is not her true feelings. Agatha loves me so much. Bella, Agatha has seen you bully me so many times. Bella, you've got to be give up. The response from the three is the answer to what you've been doing. Why? By the way, Mom, I don't want to live with you too. Then how am I supposed to live from now on? You will live as you have always lived. You've been alone until now. I'm going to get even older from now on. Bella will be fine on her own. Bella, all you had to do was be nice to Lana. This is what you deserve, isn't it? La Lana, what is it? I will apologize. I'm sorry. You don't really feel bad, do you? I do feel bad. You're just apologizing because you want to live together, right? No, that's not true. I'm sorry, but let's live together. I'm sure we can work it out. We can't. It's been ten years since your bullying started. What? Since you have been married? Yes, that's right. I have absolutely no desire to forgive Bella. Please go ahead and live the rest of your life happily on your own. Oh no, Lana! Let's live together. I respectfully decline. We moved because of Elmer's job transfer. Of course, I didn't tell Bella my address. She couldn't live with Camilla and was estranged from her relatives. Bella is now completely alone. Recently, I hear that she has become a bit of a recluse. I would have been happy to live with her if she hadn't snubbed me. Now it's too late. Do you think we did too much to your mother? I don't think so. I'm at peace with the fact that she's not here every day. That's true. When is Camilla coming home again? When she comes back, the four of us should have dinner together again. Yes, I really love Camilla. Thank you for watching to the end. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, click the good button, or leave a comment. We'll be glad to have your support. 
See you in the next video.